we never broke this horse. We was told that he'd been in harness. We was told that he was driven alongside a pair. Then we was told he was lunged with another horse. Well, I'd like to know how you do that and have any control over him. Um, but anyway, that's what we was told. This pony, in my opinion, is nothing to do with fear. Right? It's to do with I will not do this. Now, I will guarantee on my reputation that I will break this pony and he will do it and he will work as we say and have said for years to work safely, confidently and happily in harness or in any sphere of harness work if I want to go pull in timber with him, put him in a team or whatever I guarantee I can do that with the horse. We've had plenty like this before but there's been a time limit put on this because of the money involved. I don't want this pony leaving this yard and someone claiming it's been down to Barry Hook and the horse is alright. You know, he's been down to Barry Hook and that infers that if he's been there he'd be 100%. He is not 100%. He does not, will not do it. He will do it if I had the time or the people were prepared to spend the money on him. He would do it and he would be safe. I'll repeat that again. Someone else has messed this horse up, in my opinion. I don't know when I say messed it up. I don't know. How do I know? I don't even know where he come from. All I'm saying is he takes all the harness. As soon as you put him in that vehicle, he goes in a pair. We drive him in a pair. He's not happy in a pair. He'll pull on all day. He stands, paws the ground, you know, backwards and forwards, will not stand in harness. I can put all of them things right. And he also, what I think, which is a thing to, you know, that you've got to bear in mind, I think what he would do, he would mess up the other two ponies. I think he would, you know, he'd be a nuisance because of his attitude, you if know. anyone wants to see. <laughs> I'll gladly put him in harness for you and you can have a drive of him. Um, so that's his, that's his problem. It's not anything to do with I am frightened of this, this terrifies me. Not in any way, shape or form, because it doesn't. He don't care about it, he don't care about the harness, don't care about the cart. What he does say, I am not doing this, take this stuff off me. And I don't believe it's anything to do with the pain of the lump on his back. It's a minuscule thing, I've moved and shoved it everywhere around. There's a bit of cartilage sticking by his withers. The pad does not sit on it. I've pushed and shoved it in every single direction, pushed it hard, moved it like that to see if it will affect him in any way and it doesn't. So I don't think it's anything to do with that. I really don't. But before this horse goes with my name under its back and anyone says, oh, well, he was down with Barry Hook, that's why I'm making this film. That's why it's on YouTube. So anyone can see how he's marked and what he looks like because he could end up going from pillar to post. So I'm just warning you. Okay, so if you have a look at the horse now, there he is. We've come back, right? We've had a cup of tea. Left him stood here like that in the harness, I mean obviously we've sat with him, you know, had a cup of tea outside, so we're nearby. He's shivering a bit, but that's nothing to do with I'm afraid, right? Okay, and I'll just show you, I'll just show you now how I know he's not afraid, right? So here's the cart he's been pulling. Um, okay, so push him up there, pull it back, push it up, pull it back, is he kicking and bucking? Is he worried? Is he doing anything at all? No. What? Whoop my lead. If I come round here, is he afraid of me? Is he pulling back? Have I hurt him or done anything? No. Does he mind hold his ear holes? He don't care. Here, put my hand up in his mouth. There's his bit, you know, he can smash a carrot with his hand. You know, smash my hand like a carrot. Is he biting me? No. Right? So nothing like that, as long as he's doing what he wants, he's perfectly happy. Now he's quite happy to stand here and do nothing. Um, he is fat and unfit, so I'm not going to go all that, come on darling, steady now, be careful. I should just do it, like I would any horse. You know, pulling it out, chucking it down, banging it about, there's that. Right. 
I know this ain't the British Driving Society way, but I'm doing this for a reason. There's the reins, right? I'll just throw them over there on the wall. Now, if he was frightened of being in this harness, right? And don't worry about this here, right? He's chained up on the wall. Let's move it for that one. Well, there is no restriction on that chain whatsoever. That's hanging loose, right? Stand still. So there you are. Take the reins off. I'm not being gentle with him, am I? I know this ain't the right way to do this. I don't need telling that. I'm just saying all the accepted right way to do it. Right, I'm taking this off in a rough manner. Yeah. Stand still. Chucking it about his head like that. Pull the reins out like that. Let's put the reins right down there around his feet. Okay. And I'll pull them off here right over his quarters. Right, so if you want, I've got to jerk them out because they won't come through the turret. See that? I've got to release that through that turret a bit. I'll bring it through there. Down his quarters. Down here. Nothing. There's his britching undone that side. Oh, my baby. I'm doing it this side. Like that. I ain't doing anything, you know, soft and gentle. Throw them over his back. You mustn't do that, must you? In case the horse gets upset. Well, I'm trying to upset him and all. I'm just showing you that he don't get upset. Yeah? Just come here for a minute with your camera, will you? Where he's gone down. See the shelves? I'll put this back in the tug so people can see I'm not a liar. He's not independent. Right. So not only, not only has he smashed my harness up, two sets, probably five, six hundred quid to put it right, because it's major bits. Right? All right, let's say that's an exaggeration. Let's say it's 250, it won't be no less. One shaft right up in the air, not even sitting in the tug, can you see? Put my finger in there. Not even laying in the tug, where he's laid down and bent all the shelves. Right, stand still. He stands still, good boy. Right, I'm just telling him to stand still there. Is he doing it? Yes, he is. Right, but he ain't working, is he? He ain't having to work. Right. Okay. Also, have a look at his leg. He's got it at rest. Is he upset? Frightened? Terrified by the harness? No. But what he will do, when I take this off him, right, as soon as he can get out of this position and away from it, he will. Right. But that's only if he wanted, he'd be jumping and leaping to try and get out of it now if he was afraid of it. But there it is there. Right. Okay. I know horses. Please don't tell me. I'm sorry to get angry, but it makes me so cross. Because I tell you this, the only one that's going to suffer is this horse. He's the one that's going to suffer over people. I guarantee now, 150%, that I will drive this horse through the middle of London, right? And if I can't, right, whoever, they won't have a bill. There'll be no bill at all. But there he is there, quiet as it always could be, right? He's on the chain here. Look how loose it is. Can you see? It's not holding him. He's not held both sides. He's not got a groom at his head. Nothing like that. If I pull this back now and make a row with it. Yeah. And the only reason he's shivering is because he's cold. You know, he's soaking wet. And it, the wind's blowing now and there's a chill in the air. So, you know, all I can say to you is there's the pony standing there as quiet as a lamb. And you'd say, well, what a good little pony. Honey, you put him back in there and try and drive him, 
right? And it's not, because it, when we was going around the field, he'd go for 20 yards, lovely, no problem at all. Sitting there soft on the bit, no problem at all. He'd trot, he'd walk, he'd back up, and then he'd start shaking it, I don't want this on my back, pouring the ground, rearing up. He went up, well, you see what he'd done to the carriage, right? Them shelves there, people say to me, that's nothing, just bend them straight. You cannot bend them straight. They are buggered. They're 250 quid a pair. And they are buggered. Because they will not come straight. You can bend them straight, but you're weakening the steel every time you bend it. So, when you say to me, is that all safe? Just putting the harness on, taking the harness off. He's as safe as you can get, look. Okay? Pulling, undoing his croup, pulling his tail up, right? Pushing all that forward. Look, right? If he wants to kick me, he'd knock me kneecaps off. Right. Wouldn't be wrong, we can make mistakes, we can misunderstand, we can mishear what people say. I'm not saying that. He's always had a harness on before. Definitely without any question, because he wouldn't behave like this. It's the first day we put it on, he wasn't no different to this. Put it on, take it off, he's not his problem. I ain't doing it is his problem. I will not do it. And you can't make me. But Barry Hook can make him do it. And without knocking him about and hitting him. Because that wouldn't do him any good at all. That's stupid. Big old men knocking him about. No good at all. Come here. Come here, darling. And just walk him over this harness. You can say, well, don't do that. But I'm just letting him get round his legs. Catch up in the straps. As you can see, nothing. Come here, darling. Put him on another long chain. Come here, baby. I only changed his bit um, in the last couple of days. He's been going in a piece of rubber, as all my films show. They're all going a bit of rubber to start with. So I put him in a nice, nice, nice soft snaffle, a brass one that's nice and fat, yeah? And they like the taste of it and they chew on it. But it does give you a bit of breaks, because I knew I'd need them when we took him out single. But there he is. Is he terrified? Is he upset? Is he anything? No. Is he worried about the harness going on? I wouldn't have said so. Okay. But when you put him in, so he would be lie. You'd get him, harness him up, you'd be as brave as a button to go down the road with him. When you'd stop, I wouldn't know. But it's not anything to do with fear. You can see that. I've demonstrated that. Nothing at all to do with fear. It's cussedness. I am not doing it. And that is because he's been allowed to get away with things in the past. Whatever anyone's done, how do I know? But there's the pony there. Lovely, quiet, happy. Don't want to nip me, don't want to bite me, don't want to kick me. Do what you like with him. But you try and drive him single or in a pair somewhere along the line in my opinion it could be I'm not saying this is what happened it's what I believe could have happened he's bolted with some people they've took him out of the harness or he's run off or he's kicked and bucked or he's done something and he's got away with it so what because he's a strong-willed pony and he is very strong-willed and his nature is like that so he's got away with it so now he knows if he kicks bucks lays down do something the harness will be took off and he'll be put away but he went three times four times with me actually four times he went with me yeah right i had to change two sets of harness right put it back on him get him across the road again right i'm saying he will take a long time to put right